cannot question that Agudas Yisrael has been blessed with a terrific staff, which is able to accomplish the terrific things that you see here tonight. But at the same time, there's a secret ingredient to their success, to our success, and that's you, the community. You know, to me, a good issue show represents more than just organization. I've been involved over the years with many organizations, each one playing a vital role. But a good show truly serves as an umbrella organization of Klai Yisrael. And most important, we know that it's all under the directives of Gedolia Yisrael, Gedolia Torah. That's why it's so important. Come together with one voice, united we can make a choice with each other. Together, hand in hand, united we can take a stand and stronger. Come together with one voice, united we can make a choice with each other. All together, hand in hand, united we can take a stand and be stronger. Many of you are sitting here tonight. I grew up with MBD songs back in the early 70s. He was the originator of his style of music. Many have since come and gone, but MBD is still the best and he quite rightly deserves the title he's earned, which is the king of Hasidic music. However, over the 25 years that I have known Motra personally, I have witnessed another side to him, which is a man who is using his talents and passion, not just for making a living, but for giving Hasidic and Simcha to people who are less fortunate. Nice. Yeah, nice pizza. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Is wow. that unusual? <laughs> Back in the times of the Iron Curtain in Russia, traveling to that part of the world was dangerous. But together with Rabbi Zukdo with Rossmann from Mikdal Emek, MBD was most nefesh to be mesameach the Yidden there. <laughs> In his community of Seagate, he's a true Asker. During Hurricane Sandy, he lost his whole basement, but that was nothing compared to some of his neighbors who lost everything and were uninsured. He took upon himself to raise millions of dollars to rebuild the community and has helped dozens of families who say that he literally brought life back to them. MBD has forged a close relationship with Rep. Itchemai and Morgenstern Schlitter and he is also involved in supporting his koilo. Sefer HaChinuch brings in the midst of Kibbut Aim that the Shoyrish HaMitzvah of Kibbut Aim is a Koros HaToyv. A Koros HaToyv. To say thank you to someone who has done something for you. Who does more for us than the Rebbein Shoyrish? Every breath, we wake up in the morning, the first thing we say is, I thank you, Rabbi Yisrael Melech, Chai V'Kayam, Shechzartu B'Nishmosi B'Chem Lo, Yad Rachman, as he gave me back my Neshoma. I have another day to live, I have another day to do mitzvahs. I am privileged to be Motu's friend, as he is unquestionably the best performer and singer in the Jewish music business. But I respect him, 
his escorts. Thank you. sends into this world, in every generation, certain individuals who are like shooting stars, just like the shooting star appears on the, in the sky and is very bright and makes an impression. So there are certain people, of course, Baruch sends down into this world, who are here for a brief sojourn, but they achieve tremendous things and there's much to be learned from them. One such person was Ben Sion Duna Chrona Levracha, a Talmud and a friend and a great philanthropist. Ben Sion Levracha joined Bessiaka Primary School, its board in the early 90s. Um, at the time, there were quite a large board of governors, um, and he was exceptionally vocal during the meetings and um, with a very, very clear vision of where the school needs to be. He, he made a tremendous impression on me because with his uh, way that he was uh, uh, viewing the future of the school. As far as I remember, his cashier with the, with the Nir Shiva came about through our Mokotona shops. My, um, my daughter married his cousin and he came from the Chasna, he made a Shavrox and got to know Rav Nossi Tzvi and through that he developed a kesha with him that was a, a very deep and warm kesha. And Betsy was very involved when we had the transitional move from a private moiset to a state aid, to a voluntary aided state school. Um, he had a very, very clear vision of what, what the basics of we are to continue to keep under Bidera Hatoira. If we're talking about Stoka Vachesed, Achzoka Satoira is certain that Ben Sian Dona Bensi, as everybody knows so affectionately, was in a category of his own. He had a different madrega of Stoka, of Chesed. What I liked about Ben Si specifically is that he was a real dugma of an Askun. He understood Askunas very, very well. I worked on it, appreciated it, appreciated others who <coughs> were involved in Askunas, understood what they are going through. He was a man who was a man the Ben Sihula Meshulam was a friend and relative of the Bobber family. His close love for all the three Bobber Rebbe's, Rabbi Marash, his son, Rabbi Manatz, and his son in law of Bobber 45, Rabbi Nishlit. Ben Sihula Meshulam was an exceptional mix of a Ben and the Balchay said on the highest level. His Nesiyas Chayn, his charm, was something that pulled everyone who knew him to want to be close to him. Venatan kol mekebel v'seim v'ponim yofes me'ol v'kom b'mo haya ali v'matav simch haya etzlo. In particular, I knew him from Torah to Mimo to which Moiset he put his heart and soul. And he was special because he realized that to get the maximum from a Talmud meant that he needed one-to-one -one encouragement. And it was the same achrais that he had for 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 for, for it was achrais at, at Sibor. For anything that the Sibor needed, it was his pleasure always to, 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 be, uh, to step up first and to do what has to be done. Betsy always found time um, for our Moisad. Um, it could have been 
late in the evening, early morning, during the day, whenever we had a phone call that basically needs his immediate attention, he dropped everything and he, and he made himself available. And that is, I think, a very strong message uh, to our Kahila that um, even if you're very busy, um, always try to find time for our scholars. So this is what we need to learn in general from him. That Bren for Askanus Haklal. There's so few of us, there's so few in the Kehillah today, who have got that driving ambition to work for the Klal, and without a desire for personal recognition, but just to ensure that the next generation is full of people who love Hashem Isbarach and who love His Torah. saying that this evening's Mlava Malka should be successful in every possible way and we should go away from this evening's event strengthened in our Avodas Hashem and resolving to do as much as we can for all the Talmidim in the Kehillim, whatever most of they are, especially of course, this Magishalyam.